Simplify and rationalize the denominator. The fourth root of x to the seventh, y to the twelfth, over 125x. First, what we're going to do is rewrite this fraction in terms of fourth powers so that we can easily take the fourth root. So on the top, we're going to have x to the fourth, x cubed, since 4 and 3 add up to 7. And then we'll have y to the fourth, y to the fourth, y to the fourth, and that adds up to 12 over 125x. Now we can take the fourth root of and of the x to the fourth and these y to the fourths. We'll just get very simple answers on the outside. We'll be left with an x and we'll be left with y cubed since we'll get a y for each of these y to the fourths. And we're left with the fourth root of x cubed. And in the denominator, we can't change that yet. So we'll just rewrite it. Now to rationalize the denominator, we want to multiply this fraction by something so that we get rid of that fourth root in the denominator. In order to do so, we need to multiply by the fourth root of 5x cubed. When we do that, we'll be left, or we'll have 125 times 5, which is 625, and the fourth root of that is 5. And we'll have an x and an x cubed, which gives us x to the fourth. Whatever we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom. So we'll multiply the top and bottom by that. After we do that, we have x, y cubed, times the fourth root of 5x to the sixth, because we have an x cubed here and an x cubed here, all over the fourth root of 625x to the fourth. Now, the denominator, we can simplify to 5x, since the fourth root of 625 is 5, and this simplifies to x. And this x to the sixth can be rewritten as x to the fourth times x squared, just like we did up here. And we can take the fourth root of x to the fourth, and we'll just be left with an x. So if we pull that to the outside, we have an x squared now, still y cubed, and the fourth root of 5x squared. We can simplify this one step farther by eliminating an x in the top and the bottom. So we'll be left with xy cubed times the fourth root of 5x squared all over 5.